Hey everybody, welcome to Titans of CNC Academy. My name is Billy Boyce. Right now, I'm gonna take you through designing Titan 20L. First thing I wanna do is come up to File, and I'm gonna say New Design. I'm gonna press C on the keyboard for Circle, and I'm gonna choose the right plane. I'm gonna snap right here in the center, and I'm gonna drag that out till I see the dimension box, and that is a dimension of .950, enter and press enter again. I'm going to right click, say press pull. That's a dimension of 0.4. Enter. I'm going to press C for circle again and I'm going to choose that plane. Snap right to the middle and say 0.750. Enter. Enter again. I'm going to right click, press pull. I'm going to choose that section I'm going to say minus 0.250, enter, okay. Now we're going to sketch a line and we're going to do it on the front plane. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to come out this way and I have a dimension of 0.354, enter. And I want to make sure this line stays straight, so I'm going to come over here to my horizontal vertical sketch palette. I'm going to click there and click that line. And now we see that icon there. Now I'm going to press L for line, and now I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm going to go 2.924, enter. And I want to make sure this line stays straight as well, so I'm going to come over here under the sketch palette, under constraints, and choose horizontal vertical, and I'll click that line. And basically what that does is that just keeps that line horizontal no matter what we do. I'm gonna press C for circle, I'm gonna go right here, and that's a 0.5, enter, enter again. I'm gonna press L for line, and I'm just gonna go out here like that. Uh, the horizontal vertical uh, restraint already applied, so we'll go D for dimension. I'm going to go from this point to that line. That's a dimension of 0.150. Enter. I'm going to go from here to here. 1.504. Enter. And I'm going to press C for circle. I'm going to go right here. That's a dimension of 0.2. 1-0, enter, enter again. I'm going to press L for line. I'm going to click and hold the left mouse button with this line applied. And you see it just makes this tangent icon. And so it'll stay tangent. Now I'm parallel to that other line and I'll just let go. I'll go ahead and connect. Press D for dimension. We'll get this dimension here. That's 1.8. 04, enter, and we look good. So now I'm going to go to sketch, extend, I want to extend that line, and I want to extend this line. Now we'll come over to create, revolve, I'm going to choose this, that, this, and that. We'll select the axis, We'll pick that center line, we'll say cut, or we'll change it from cut to join, and we'll say OK. And that looks good. We'll go sketch, we'll turn that last sketch back on. We're going to go to sketch, two point triangle. I'm just going to click here and just kind of do one of those real quick. Press D for dimension. I'm going to go from here to our center line. That's 0.09. Go from here to the end. That was 0.928. I'm going to click this line here, and that is 40.04. Enter. Now we're going to right click, press pull. We'll choose that rectangle over here in direction, we'll say symmetric, 
and we'll just say 0.1. It defaults to cut, we say OK. Now we got that little cut out there. We'll turn that sketch off, and we got one more sketch to do. So C for circle, we'll choose that front plane, click right here, I'm going to drag that out. That is a 0.063 radius, so we'll have to go say times 2, enter, enter again. Um, it looks like we do need that one sketch, so we'll turn that sketch back on real quick. We'll plus D for dimension. Go here to there. 0.629. And we'll go from here to here. That's 0 0.750 divided by 2, enter, and then we'll go create, revolve, choose that circle, come over here, we'll say axis, and we'll just choose our center line, then we can say OK. Now we can turn that sketch off. I'm going to press F for fillet, 0.05. And press F for fill it again. Get this one here. That's a 0 0.09. Enter. F for fill it. And get that one right there. That's a 0 0.01. Enter. F for fill it. 0 0.045. Enter. And now we're going to do a few chamfers. So we'll go modify chamfer. This first one here is 0.1. Enter. We can right click, repeat. We'll do this edge, that edge, that edge, and that edge. 0 0.01. Enter. And there we go. That was the Titan 20L.